For garden color from the ground up, start with the ground. Vigoro Colored Bark Mulch from the Home Depot. Now, three bags for just nine bucks. It protects your plants beautifully and maintains its color for up to 12 months in shades of red, brown, or black that really set off your garden. Not to mention your spring. Bring on spring color with Vigoro Colored Bark Mulch. Three bags, nine bucks. Now at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Limit 60 per customer. Color selection varies by store. The evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. Thou should have no pleasure in them. Jesus is gone and wipe your ear. He's soon to come. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side. On in you, Jesus is calling. calling. He's calling. Jesus is He's calling. calling. Even calling, calling to you. Remember, He called from day one. Day Remember one. them times you had the stacks and the guns. Man. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song you got. I am Minister John E. Ross, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries in Wichita, Kansas, and you are listening to me on WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Networks, and on this evening, our special guest is Pastor Darnell Williams of the Williams Singers, amen, and Pastor Williams, amen, has been a minister of the gospel since 12. He is a husband, father, musician, producer, national recording artist, member of the Williams Singers, and CEO of the independent record label, Denzel Music Group. Pastor Williams now focuses on soul winning, kingdom building, and his own personal relationship and time with God. Amen. And our topic tonight is God's expectations from gospel artists and what it's become today. Amen. So, Pastor Darnell Williams, amen, of the Williams Singers, please begin our discussion and let's go to the Word of God. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Minister uh, John Ross, uh, for this great opportunity that you have afforded me uh, to uh, share uh, the insight that I have uh, been given by God uh, as it pertains to uh, his workers uh, in the uh, gospel music field. <clears throat> uh, I want to basically uh, start off by saying um, that uh, it is a privilege to be It is a privilege to be uh, in, in the gospel music field uh, and to be chosen by God uh, to do this. Uh, one thing that we have to understand is that uh, everyone uh, uh, does, that does not have the musical gifts that uh, we, we, we have been given. And so um, to be chosen to do this work is just a gift in itself. There are a lot of people who uh, wish they could sing, wish they could play, wish they could write music, wish they could uh, impart uh, um, uh, the way they feel or uh, what God has been given to them. As a matter of fact, there are even people who know how to write lyrics uh, but just don't know how to put them to a musical melody. And so uh, the gift that we have um, is, is, is a very powerful gift. And so uh, if you have been given it, then uh, with uh, just like the old saying, with great uh, power comes great responsibility. And so um, there is an expectation that has been given by God to his minstrels um, to uh, minister the word of God through song. And the expectation of that is that lives will be changed. 
Three messages received from John Ross. Messages received from John Ross. And so, um, with that said, uh, that coupled with the lyrics uh, of the good news of Jesus Christ, uh, whether they be straight from the Bible or whether they be lyrics that have been placed on our heart uh, to uh, to uh, deliver to God's people in song. Um, that is that 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 is uh, the difference between the spoken word and the musical delivery of the word of God or the message of God, and so with that comes a great responsibility because you've been gifted to be able to do this, uh, uh, whereas. You know, like I said uh, once before, where people would turn a deaf ear to the spoken word a lot of times, uh, the music, the, the word sang uh, in music will somehow find its way into the hearts of people. And so this is a very, uh, uh, this is a very important uh, uh, topic because uh, gospel artists have been given this responsibility, and notice I said given, uh, because like I said, you know, it is a, it is a uh, privilege to be able to do it. And you've been given this responsibility to carry this cross, but for some odd reason, we have taken the focus off of the Word of God, we've taken the focus off of souls and put it on our own worldly gain or our own selfish a fleshly gain uh, to use God's ministry as a way of promoting ourselves and our own agenda. Uh, our lifestyles a lot of times do not match up with what we sing or what we say. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the message of God uh, is even now falling on deaf ears as it pertains to music, whereas before music would penetrate a, a, a hardened heart. Uh, now it is so hard to even do that because of the spirit that is behind the music. Uh, it is. It, it 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 has changed a lot, and uh, uh, gospel artists uh, have taken their focus off of what the real uh, uh, the, the real goal is, which is to win souls to Christ, and they're simply wanting uh, what the world gives their artists. And so they're looking at themselves and they're saying, hey, it's safe for me to do this because uh, it's gospel and I'm not hurting anyone. But at the same time, I want the same benefits uh, that a Drake would get or a Lil Wayne would get or a, 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 a God rest her soul, Whitney Houston would get or a Fantasia would get. I want those earthly things. And, though, and there's nothing wrong with having that. There's nothing wrong with having that at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
and all these things will be added unto you. And so God will automatically give you what you need as long as you're kingdom minded. But we are not, we, we have taken our focus off of the kingdom and have put it on the stuff. Yeah. And so the stuff has taken uh, first place. And so now you have a generation of gospel artists who no longer see gospel music as the good news of God. They don't see it as that. They see it as just another genre. And uh, uh, there was one time that I kind of wrestled with God, you know, concerning uh, my career in gospel music. I kind of felt like, you know, things uh, should be going the way I need them to go. Uh, I should be making this amount of money at this certain time, or I should have this, or I should have this type of studio, or I should have this type of house. And I would look at other people, and I would compare myself. And I had the audacity to tell God, I said, Lord, I could be doing R&B. I could be doing uh, uh, any type of uh, secular music, but I choose to do gospel. And the words that God gave me were, you aren't doing me any favors. As a matter of fact, the only reason why you choose to do gospel is because it comes naturally to you. And so that pretty much blew me away, and I picked up my face, and uh, I went on and, and, and started doing what God wanted me to do. Because what he let me know is that singing gospel music is just something that, that is easy to do. Anyone can sing the words. Uh, you can take... Uh, any secular artist and they can sing the words they can do a gospel song but it's not just the lyrics that penetrate but it is the spirit behind the singer it is the spirit behind the musician or behind the producer that uh, 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 brings about a change uh, the Bible said uh, we, we reach from heart to heart and breast to breast. Uh, so, you know, it's not just from vocal cord to vocal cord or vocal cord to ear. Uh, God deals with the heart. The Bible says man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looketh upon the heart. Yes. And so if what we sing and what we do is not in our heart, and uh, you're going to have to uh, help me, uh, uh, Minister John Rock, on, on time, because I, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go uh, over my time. Go but, ahead, uh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, so, so what we do uh, is we sing our heart. And uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, secular artists are so, or they, or they seem so, um, they seem so uh, successful at what they do. It's because their heart is in it. Their heart, their heart is in what they do. You know, if they want to get crunk, they're going to get crunk because that's what's in their heart. If they want to get nasty, if they want to get uh, whatever it is, that's what's in their heart. Yeah. And so that, and, and so the pe and the people that come to see them crave that, and what's in their heart reaches what's also in the audience's heart. The same thing, you know. But the only thing is, we all, whether we sing secular music, whether we sing rock, country, whatever, all of us come from God, and there is one thing that is always in the hearts of man, and that is God. Because as long as you are alive, you have you have a piece of God in you. And the only people that can touch that part are people who are God people. And so with that, God artists, we really, really have a strong uh, 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 expectation from God to use what he has given us to minister to his people and we have dropped the ball for the most part 
we have dropped the ball. Now, I'm not saying this about everyone, but 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 there are a lot who have dropped the ball because there, there, there is a shame. It's a shame when you can sing and deliberately go and and and, and commit adultery. Amen. <laughs> Uh, 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 you can you you can you can you can sing someone happy, and as soon as you get done, you ready to fight somebody, or you ready to just get high, or you ready to sleep around with somebody, or you ready you know ready to do whatever, and it's the same. Now you know then you know you say, well, Pastor Williams, you know I mean you know it's good you know you grew up in church and everything, and you know I'm telling you everything I know from experience. I'm telling you everything I know from experience because I was one of those people who could preach you happy, who could sing you happy, who could make you shout, and I was not living a thing. I I was I was not the husband I was supposed to be, I was not the father I was supposed to be, I was not the servant I was supposed to be, yet my gifts as the Bible says, came without repentance. I could use my gifts, but they were simply for making money. They were simply for making money, and that's all it was. And the Bible says, what profited a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And so God told me, you know, I was, he, I, I was not doing him any favors. And he also enlightened me on the responsibility slash privilege that I have as being a gospel artist to do something that no other artist can do. And that is to sing life into dying people. A Beyonce can't do that. A Jay-Z can't do that. But you... As a gospel artist, as a gospel singer, or a musician, or, or whatever you do uh, as, as it pertains to gospel music, you have the ability to actually sing or play life into a dead situation. Yeah. And the problem is, we really need to get back focused on that, because basically what we're saying is, God, that's not enough. It's not enough because I don't want, um, I, I, you know, that that that's good, but I can't see what uh, uh, what 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 good is doing me because I'm so busy looking at stuff. Yeah. I'm so busy looking at the cars and and the Bible said, you know, uh, uh, I almost slipped when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And, uh, you know, I began to ask God, and I was like, Lord, help me to understand this. Why is it that it seems like the people that uh, don't, uh, don't even think about you, they wake up day to day, they go on, they, you know, just doing whatever they want to do, they don't even think about you. And it seems like they prosper so much. And then the ones that wake up and try our best to live a holy and separated life from sin, it seems like we have the days where we are uh, suffering from paycheck to paycheck, and uh, we have those days where things just aren't aren't being met. We have those days where you know uh, our marriages are not working right, or uh, we can't get the job that we need, or we're having uh, problems in our health. And 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 God said that basically they're enjoying sin for a season. It's a season, and all seasons change. And the thing is, what we have to understand is, God will take us through a Job experience. As a gospel artist, you will find yourself writing about what you've gone through. You will find yourself singing about what you've gone through, and your conviction will be that much stronger because you have been through it. Mm -hmm. And you can, and, 
and, and, and we are helpers one to another. There are certain things that you have to go through that other people can't go through. Amen. God will allow you to go through it because he knows you will come out a winner. Yes, Amen. I did say that. God will allow you to go through it because he knows you will come out a winner. Amen. Now, you may not know it right now, <laughs> but God knows. Yes. Otherwise, he would not allow you to go through it. He would not put anything on us that we are not able to bear. But he, he's allowing you to go through it. So, your, 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 your trials and tribulations, what you go through, uh, 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 all the good times and bad times, it's all building up your testimony. And so now you're not just singing what you've heard. You're singing what you know. Amen. When you, when you say, I know God is a good God, yes, he is, you're saying that not just because the old mother sang it, but you're saying that because I really know he is. Yeah. And so, uh, 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 how are we doing on time? <laughs> Amen. Now to join the discussion. Amen. On God's expectation from gospel artists and what it's become today. Dial 980-202-2915. Again, to join this discussion, dial 980-202-2915. And I truly enjoyed everything that you have said. Amen. Pastor Darnell Williams, and, and the, the Lord has given me a few areas that, that the Holy Spirit has, has, has given me some revelation. So we're going to do a little prophetic release on tonight. And we're going to, we're going to uh, give a word, a message, a, a, a word of knowledge, amen, here on tonight in regards to God's expectations from a gospel artist. Amen. And it's, it's the same as any leader, pastor, bishop, overseers, ministers of music, choir directors, etc. Amen. It's, it's for every, all of them, all of us. We're all kingdom in the kingdom of God. And it's the first and foremost to be holy. And meaning, what do you mean by holy, John? Meaning, repented of your sins. Amen. You have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. And you are in relationship with with Jesus Christ and God by His Holy Spirit, meaning that you have a prayer life, you have a, a fasting life, amen, and that you bear fruit of the Spirit in your life, amen, and they should know the Word of God and be anointed by God, set apart pure, holy vessels so that God can use them to bring others to Jesus Christ. Amen. And so the yokes are destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are there to be skillful, well rehearsed. Amen. And and the more fruitful they are, the more God will enlarge their ministry and territory. And I want to stop right here because God gave me a word right here. Amen. God was telling me it for, for, for choirs, for musicians, for those of you that are recording choirs, quartets, ensembles, not just solo artists, but everybody in the music field. As you're in your preparation stage, that, mean, that may be meaning you're just learning to play the organ, you're learning to play the bass, the piano, whatever, whatever area. Maybe you're a solo artist and you're, you're practicing vocals, you're taking vocal lessons. The choir is working on its 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 uh, dynamics and crescendos and and techniques and everything. And so God was saying, while you're in this creative stage, that God wants you to be fruitful. And what is it? What do I mean by fruitful? We know that. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. And see, God wants you to begin to, to exercise that in your character, bearing fruit, those nine gifts, in your character. So every much as you rehearse, you need to be in the Word of God. You need to have a fast life, a prayer life, and, and begin to be fruitful, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, begin making active those characters.
characteristic characteristics in your personality because when you do that that is Jesus and see this is what's going to happen now as you begin to do that that ground is going to become fertile ground and see you're going to begin to build your career from that ground you want to lay the groundwork of being fruitful because we are seed we are kingdom seed Amen. And so, Amen. and so, you're laying when you're being having a prayer life, a fast life, and you're in a relationship with the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, and you're being fruitful. Man, you are laying the foundation for where God is going to take you, and the sky is the limit. I mean, there's, there's no limit to what God cannot do in your life if you lay that foundation. Be fruitful as much as you rehearse. Be as fruitful. Be in his word, be holy, be pure, and you will be shocked at where God will take you the doors that he will open for you. Amen. And 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 artists are like David in service of a song in worship of God. David first taught the church to sing the praises of the Lord. He first introduced into the ritual of the tabernacle music and songs, Psalms 58. Amen. To bear the desert the designation of lyrics or a song set to music or a sacred song accompanied with musical instruments. In Psalms 145 and many others have the makeup of hymns, meaning a song of praise, a song or the prominent thought of which is praise of God. And in Second Chronicles 20 and 19, it legislates that then some Levites and from the Kohathites and the Korahites stood up and praised the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice. And here now we are talking about choirs. They they this we're talking about choirs, praise teams here with a loud voice, with vibrato, amen, with volume. God created us to be instruments with ability to sing and make music. Amen. And I want you out there that are listening, amen, to get a pen and get a paper because God gave me some scriptures, amen, especially those of you that, that are planning or want to be in the gospel music field and, and you you know God has called you and has anointed you and, and you know that's the area where you want to be, amen. Write these scriptures down. Go ahead and play this recording back, amen. If you don't have a pen handy, play the recording back and write these scriptures down, Psalms 95 and 1, Ephesians 5 and 19, Amen. Hebrews 2 and 12, Psalms 71 and 23, Psalms 105 and 2, Psalms 150 and 5, amen, and then we have Colossians 3 and 16, which declares to let the message of Christ dwelling amongst you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Amen. Singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. All legislates what God expects of gospel artists. Amen. God expects us to live what we write, sing, and play. Amen. And that's gospel choirs. That is the president of the record company. That is the, the one, the A&R who signs the artists. That yeah. is the, the PR department. That is in every area. The requirement is the same. It's for you too. Amen. And then God will begin to bless Amen. Abundantly. And we won't have to worry about sales. We won't have to worry about all the problems that, that can come with with, with uh, running a record company. Because God, as you as you put you put him to the test, you live in holy, you live in righteous, you're right. obeying him and doing what he says. Now God doesn't have no other choice but open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room to receive. Amen. And what has it become today? My God, somebody's 
is going to get mad at me, but it has become so uh, about getting rich and getting yeah. paid, and it's become so commercialized. Follow, you know, following the world standard, no holiness. Some record companies they they don't want you to even say the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. They don't want the Holy Spirit. Amen. Speaking in tongues on the recording. Amen. They don't want to move in the power of God. They don't want souls to be saved during the recording of the project or on the live worship CDs. But that's what God is wanting. That's what he is looking for. Amen. Sinful artists imitate the looks, the hair, the makeup of the secular world. Amen. And have become sexually illicit. Yeah. Amen. That is where, so we've been on the same lines tonight, so and, and, and if those of you that may be wondering, now I know that Pastor Williams and Minister Ross that talked before, we have not discussed what each other was going to say tonight. <laughs> okay. no. So we have not talked about it. Okay. So and 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 and, and the Lord is revealing the same thing to me as He's re has revealed to him. Amen. And I also want to give a shout out to Teddy Campbell, who held a musician's Bible study shared. He held one in September. He has one coming up in October, and he's going through the country or wherever they're meeting, and he is having Bible. Study study with the musicians. Yeah. I said, thank God. I posted that on the, on the ministry like this. I said, thank God that somebody is being obedient to the Lord and is beginning to take the industry back to the roots, which is the word, the foundation, the word of God. Thank you very much. That shout out to Teddy Campbell, because, you know, I am one that, that, that believes and will forever always say that no one should ever be ashamed to stand boldly and proud to be who God has chosen and created and anointed them to be. Amen. The world will respect you highly for living a life according to the book of James where it legislates to be a man, inward man, pure and holy and being reflected inside and outside. I'm talking about the man in the mirror. Amen. The word, the world does not respect you when you get in and out of bed with the world. Right. That's right. Amen. And Amen. It, might, it might get you the record contract. And, and Lord, uh, you know, I hope everybody plays this and downloads it and shares it all over the world. But it may get you a record deal, you know, if, if that's what it. But I tell you, the world will not respect you if you get in and out of bed with them. It's best wow. to let God lay the foundation and open up the door for you. Amen. And, and, and we're getting down to another very, very important part, amen, that God has shared with me that I got to get this message and, and release out. And that this word of knowledge is, is to the kingdom of God. And what it's about is it's about um, not only the artists, amen, the, the ones on the, that you see on the CD cover, but it's, it's, it, this can go to uh, the NBA player, the, the Major League Baseball player, the yeah. football player. Um, those who are in Hollywood, anybody that's on the magazine covers, amen, this, this word of knowledge is for you. And what it is is that the Holy Spirit revealed to me that, that many times in the kingdom, because, you know, we, 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 um, we will um, be blessed, so blessed by a song that we've heard on the CD. And, and so, or, or, or we, we, we like a person who has a big contract and that's on all the television commercials and, and that's on the magazine covers. And, and so, you know, we, we, we look at that. However, sometimes when we meet them in person and when we come face to face contact with them, we then discover that they're not who they say they are. 
That's right. Not who the PR person is publicizing them to be. My God, that song blessed me. Ashikalaboshi. That song blessed me so much. But my God, the minute you walk up to that person, you discover that that's not that song, that that anointing, that blessing. That's not who I just shook hands with. And the Holy Spirit said he wants you to, to begin to remember, to look at Jesus Christ as our standard. Jesus Christ is the standard of holiness and righteousness. He is that standard, not the person on the CD cover. Jesus is that standard of righteousness. And so when you see somebody that 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 is that that you know their lifestyle is not is not up to to what you just heard on the CD. Amen. Pray for that person and intercede for that person so that that artist will understand the revelation that we have got to be the people in front of the scenes, that we are behind the scenes, and that what we are behind the scenes, that is what we are in front of the scenes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen out there. I know y'all can hear me out there. Jesus wants you to look at him. Let him be the standard of your holiness. So you may, you may, you know, that song just blessed your soul and you loved it so, and then you meet that person, and so that you won't be, because we're stumbling. The king, God is letting me know the kingdom of God. We're stumbling. People are stumbling because they, they, they've encountered God through through uh, the CP and 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 had and had an encounter with him and then they reached out to the artist and then found out that the artist was not who they thought they were and is right. causing a That's stumbling right. in the kingdom. So the Lord wants you to keep your eyes on focus on Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. And and this is another thing that God is wanting from artists. And, and many people have heard, um, Pastor Wins, I don't know if you've heard my testimony, when, when with Anita Wilson, amen, when, when her uh, worship soul came out, and how that, you know, I was going through a hard time, I was backslidden, and wasn't even expecting to get saved, and how wow. that I took that CD to work, and speechless came on, and I felt the Holy Ghost begin to start breaking up and churning up that fallow ground in me, and yeah. I, hit, I hit stop, I hit stop, I said, wait a minute, I am not saved, and then Pastor Williams remembers when I used to be minister of music, I used to be minister of music, choir director, all yeah. that back in the state, back in the state of Ohio, he remembers yeah. me, yeah. And, then, and I was backslid, and I had backslid to the same day, so I was like, no, I, I can't be, I can't be up here and work out like this, let me go do something and come back, you know what happened wow. to me, Pastor Williams, when wow. I got back and got down to those last three worship songs, that portal and the Holy Spirit opened up and I was repenting. Wow. I was repenting and giving my life back to the Lord. And wow. another testimony I wanted to share, that with William Murphy, I was worshiping amen to his cd and it was that new wine cd and man the holy spirit began to take me up in tongues and he took me up in tongues at a level that i have never spoke in tongues before in my entire life wow. the holy spirit took me up in tongues and i began to speak in tongues not only did i speak in tongues at that level i began to sing in tongues
to live the life, and that's what we have to do. We have got to live the life that we sing, preach, teach, and write about. Pastor Gardner Williams, give us, give us, give us some final words. Thank you for this subject tonight. God's expectations from gospel artists and what it's become today. Well, I want to thank you uh, once again, you know, for allowing uh, me this space. And um, you you have even, uh, with the word that you've given, have even poured into my spirit uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that continual go-ahead uh, uh, to keep moving. Um, I, I, want to, I just want to uh, just do uh, uh, just the uh, last few minutes to just encourage those who uh, are, are, are struggling with this because the, the main thing is that the enemy wants to take your focus off of God. And the main thing that he will use are little things like bills, uh, you know, uh, just, just, you know, little, little thing. You know, the Bible said, you know, it, it's it's the, the the little foxes destroy the vine, and 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 you know, just like you said, uh, Minister, uh, Mister Ross, is that you know, just a, a few little things will happen, and next thing you know, you find yourself just completely away. Yes. You know, it, it, it's it's not the fact that you know you don't have to just say, well, you know, I'm I'm deciding that I'm just going to just go the wrong way. It really doesn't happen like that. It's just kind of gradual things, and and, and that's what happens. And, and I just want to encourage everyone, and even in doing this, I'm encouraging myself um, because the life of a gospel artist, uh, and, and w whether you're a recording artist, whether you're just you know uh, uh, just a regular uh, a person that's just doing gospel music, you know, however it is, it's not a glamorous life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, you're not going to have the jewels. You're not going to have the the fat uh, uh, cash roll all the time. You know, you, you, you're not. You, it, that's not. It's just just not going to be like that. And I just want to encourage everybody to keep your eyes on. God. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. And if you don't have a Rolls Royce, if you don't have a, a mansion, if you never have a mink coat, one thing you do have is salvation. Amen. And you have an all God on your side. And so I just want to encourage everybody, you know, to just, just hold on to God and, and, and keep and keep just, just keep looking to him, and, and he'll make everything, everything. Amen. Because we also have to realize, too, that that, that, that we're just pilgrims passing through. That, that this is not the final destination. Heaven is the final destination. And you best believe that the wealth that we will have in eternity, God allowed me a, to see prophetically, amen, when I was complaining about the same thing. He allowed me to see a glimpse of a, a heavenly mansion that's waiting for me. That's going to be mine for eternity. Amen. So keep that in mind out there that there, there's, you know, you, you know, you have the, the wealth here in the uh, earth realm for for a season, but you know, keep, weigh it out. Would you like to have it just for a season or eternity? Amen. Yes. So we yes. thank you, Amen, Pastor Darnell Williams of the Williams Singers, and we're going to be hearing a song from their latest CD, Amen. I, and and I believe that it is going to bless you. I love this CD because it is a blend of worship and quartet, something very unique that I have never heard before. And then, and if you would like to get in touch with the Williams Singers, you can reach them at three one seven. Two nine nine seven two nine three. Again, that's three one seven two nine nine seven two nine three to reach the Williams Singers. You can also buy their music. It is available on Amazon and is available on iTunes and every digital outlet. I am Minister John E. Ross, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries in Wichita, Kansas. Please like us on Facebook, share us. Amen. And I'm on YouTube.
Hi, this is Larry W. Robinson with your Gospel Entertainment News Report, brought to you this week by GospelUpdates.com, the Gospel Updates mobile app, as well as the Gospel Updates e-magazine. This week we're catching up with one of my buddies, Minister John E. Ross. He has a new single titled, Remember Now Thy Creator. Excellent tune, and I wanted him to come on the broadcast to tell you all about it. Minister John E. Ross, welcome to Gospel Updates. Hey, Larry, and thanks for having me on the show. I have a new release coming out called Remember Now Thy Creator. And basically, it is a song for the young people. It is encouraging them to give their lives over to Jesus Christ. You know, we're living in a day and time when the world is is is, is grabbing at our young people. Mm-hmm. Satan is doing all that he can to keep them away from a relationship with God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this is something to grab their attention and to encourage them to give their lives over to God through Jesus Christ while they're young and in their youth. Awesome, awesome. Remember now that I created the pre-release date when it's coming to Amazon and iTunes is on January the 5th and then the official release date will be on February the 6th. Remember now thy creator. The new single for Minister John E. Ross featuring King David the Bessel, a new duo and doctrine coming soon to all digital download stations. This has been your Gospel Entertainment News Report. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. For more news, download my mobile app. Search Gospel Updates in your app store as well as visit GospelUpdates.com. For garden color from the ground up, start with the ground. Vigoro colored bark mulch from the Home Depot. Now three bags for just nine bucks. It protects your plants beautifully and maintains its color for up to 12 months in shades of red, brown, or black that really set off your garden, not to mention your spring. Bring on spring color with Vigoro Colored Bark Mulch. Three bags, nine bucks. Now at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Limit 60 per customer. Color selection varies by store. 